So what's going on guys so in today's video i got the best settings for your nintendo switch for chapter 5 so be sure to watch the video to the end if you guys want the best settings and also be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you guys want to support me which is completely free i would appreciate if you guys could use code zenter in the fortnite item shop but uh yeah but you guys ask me a lot what i use on my controller so basically i have a pro controller for the nintendo switch obviously but i have the blue thumb cushion caps from play vital if you guys want to get your hands on that it is linked at the top link of the description not only that but this led charger cable which is like four feet long which is perfect for me because my switch is actually on the edge of my table so yeah this charger cable really helps out because having your switch controller charged actually gives you less delay but yeah let me just show you guys how cool it looks when i turn off the light as you guys can see it looks amazing and it changes colors so so yeah but yeah if you guys are interested in my accessories then be sure to hit the top link of the description they are from play vital but yeah before we get into this video i want to show you guys some gameplay to show you guys how insane you can become with these settings so yeah without further ado let's get right into that you're kidding bro i didn't record uh, whatever guys i got the medallion let me just say that and let's go and push some people bro because i'm actually tired now uh, let's actually win this game because bro what i had to do to get that medallion was crazy Holy, I'm high up. I'm the highest in the room, bro. Like, oh my God. Guys, done. Let's go. Holy, I'm low. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually so low. That was worth it. That was so worth it. Oh my. <sighs> guys. These are the best settings you can get. I'm telling you. Uh, let's go. Unmed kid or... Uh, I don't know, to be honest. But what I do know is a guy right here. Yeah, you're not slick, bro. You're not slick. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he, he thought it was him and he got sniped, bro. That's crazy. Nah, I don't know. I'm feeling, th I'm feeling this shotgun right now. I don't know. This one is good, too. I don't know. Is he clueless? Bro, come on. 30, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. I cannot choke. I cannot choke. I forgot to have this AR, bro. He's gonna die now. Like, let's go. I'm telling you guys, if you guys use these settings, you're gonna become that guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you guys. What the? F I feel like th that is the best scope you can get on your. Uh, what's it called? Sniper. Oh, what the? F what is that? Oh, yeah, that's the new thing. Peek. Peek. You freaking. Yeah. I know you don't want that to happen. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want not. You don't want that to happen. What the? I can hear somebody. Oh my god. Just die, please. Yo, bro. Just die. This guy is annoying. Like. I want a secure win, you know? This is actually kind of intense. I'm not gonna lie. What the? So now I'm gonna go for the, the side. What? I'm gonna say fall damage. Just... Yeah, just fight. You two fight. You two fight. Fight, fight, fight. Let's go, let's go. Cracked. This guy's dead. This guy's done. He's done. Ooh. 
Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We got the W. All right, so let's get right into the settings. So starting off, I have my brightness on 100%. Down here, I have my colorblind mode on tritinope and colorblind strength on 10. This actually makes my game look a lot better. And you guys also have been asking me how my game looks so good. And this is definitely one of the reasons to why my game looks so good. So if you guys want your game to look like mine, be sure to put colorblind mode on tritinope and strength on 10. Now show FPS, of course, you want to have this on on and you want to ha have this on off and this on disabled. Now for my volume settings, there isn't really much to be said. Sometimes I adjust the voice chat and stuff like that but what is really important in this volume tab is visual sound effects you want to be sure you have visual sound effects on on because this does so you can see wherever people are shooting from on your screen which is really beneficial and a lot of pros use this so yeah if you're not using this you're pretty much just missing out so yeah be sure to put this on on and if you guys need the rest, go ahead. Now, matchmaking region, I have this on Europe because I live in Europe. You want to select the one that is in your area or closest to you. So, yeah, this way you get the lowest input delay and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, toggle spin, you want to be sure you have this on on. Auto open doors on on, of course. Let's say you're editing a door accidentally and you just want to get out of it instantly. It does that. So, yeah, this is the reason to why I have auto open doors on on. Now, mantle activation on hold jump and this on press jump as well. And if you guys need this, go ahead. But... I have my preferred item slots right here. Now my preferred item slots, this is personal preference, but if you guys like the way I have it, you guys can go ahead and copy the way I have it. So I have my SMG on the first slot, my shotgun on the second, my AR on the third, and then just a mini and a med kit, for example. But the reason I have it like this is because I can just shoot my shotgun and then instantly go to the SMG or I can shoot my shotgun and then instantly go to the AR. This makes it a lot easier when playing because I can just shoot my shotgun and then instantly go to the SMG or quickly go from my shotgun to my AR. So yeah, if you guys like the way I have it, you guys can go ahead and cop. Now getting down here, you want to be sure you have auto confirm edits on both. This does so you confirm instantly and reset instantly. So basically how I edit, which I will be getting into later as well with my binds, especially with my binds, I just press this, this and this to edit, which is really, really simple. And to reset, I literally only press two buttons, this and this. So if you guys want that, be sure to stick around for the binds because I will be teaching you guys how you can get that so yeah this is the reason you want to have auto confirm edits on both it is very important now if you guys need any of this go ahead and copy now for this right here i have my damage numbers on a list the reason i have it on list is because i like how it looks when hitting somebody but it is pretty much personal preference but if you guys want this which i think is the cleanest go ahead and damage number scale the reason i have it on 125 percent is because it shows me clearly how much i've hit them for which i feel like is just clean so if you guys want that be sure to put that on 125 percent now for hud scale i have this on 70 percent Fortnite automatically puts this on 100 percent and it is just way too big and i feel like anything below 70 is way too small so i feel like 70 is just the perfect bot so yeah be sure to put your hud skill on 70 percent you guys need this go ahead now gyro aiming i don't have gyro aiming on on the reason i don't have this on on is because you have to move your controller like this to aim like this and yeah it just makes your aim inconsistent and stuff like that so i would not recommend it and literally no pros use gyro aiming so yeah i would recommend you have this on off now getting here of course controller auto run on on and vibration you want to be sure you have vibration on off the reason you want to have vibration on off is because it vibrates on your controller every time you're getting hit or something like that 
and i've also heard it can make your aim inconsistent so yeah i would just not risk that and i would prefer to have it on off but this is personal pref now quip weapon i don't have this enabled now let's get down to my sensitivity so i have my build mode sensitivity on 1.5 and my edit mode sensitivity on 1.9 and of course guys you want to be sure you have advanced op on on or else you cannot copy my settings because you don't have advanced options on so first of all i have look horizontal speed on 45 percent i have look vertical speed on 45 percent too and i have no turning horizontal boost or vertical boost and when we get down here i have my ads look horizontal speed on 11 percent and ads look vertical speed on 11 percent too and these two on zero percent as well now getting down here you want to be sure you have your look input curve on linear because i've always played on linear so yeah if you're putting this on exponential my settings won't probably work so yeah be sure to put this on linear now for aim assist strength of course you want to put this on 100 percent why would you not put this on 100 it's literally free aim assist so yeah be sure to put this on 100 percent now getting down here i have my left stick that zone on 13 percent and right stick that zone on 13 percent too i've never experienced stick drift or anything like that since putting this on 13 percent so i would recommend you guys put this on 13 percent now we're getting into my bind so first of all let me just explain all the things that are different with my bind and after that i will be going through my binds to make sure you guys get everything right all right so first of all i jump on r and i crouch on b so these two are switched which makes it a lot easier when building and stuff like that because it's annoying to take your fingers off the sticks all the time when building and just in general so i feel like jumping on right stick is a lot better now for my sprinting a lot of you guys if i just forget to cover this up you guys will say it in the comments so i will say it here this is how i sprint i move forward and then i press the button like this so be sure to do that of course you cannot sprint and do this so be sure to do it like that so yeah that's basically how i sprint now getting into the editing like i said i edit on my left stick but i select on zr of course and i confirm on r and i reset on l now for confirming i just press edit select and confirm for resetting i just press edit and reset like this it's really fast and simple and it will make you edit a lot faster and more consistently but yeah with that being said i will be giving you guys some time to copy the rest of my binds to be sure that you guys get everything right Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are gonna get better with these settings and also be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and i would appreciate if you guys could use code zenter in the fortnite item shop this really helps out the channel and yeah it just motivates me to do content for you guys and be sure to check out play vital if you guys are interested in the accessories on my controller it's linked in the description but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and peace